not too long ago in the offseason, Jonathan Taylor and the Colts were butting heads quite vigorously, if you will. Jonathan Taylor said, hey, look, you guys got to start paying me. And it wasn't just him. It was the entire running back uh, position group, right? They were all arguing that, hey, we should be paid more for our talents, for what we do every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. We just need more money. So Jonathan Taylor, out of all the running backs, was basically the only one to sit out for a very long period of time. It seemed as if the Colts were kind of blackballing him a little bit because they were saying he's hurt, and Jonathan Taylor comes out on, Insta- or on Twitter and says basically, look, I'm fine. My back's 100% fine. Then we go forward a couple more weeks and Jonathan Taylor's put on the injured reserve list, which means you have to miss at least the next four weeks. That started the season. It has been four weeks now. This is the fourth week, I do believe, or fifth week, excuse me, and Jonathan Taylor can come back. So what did the uh, Indianapolis Colts do? Well, per Ari Mirov, Colts head coach Shane Steichen, said that they are designated running back Jonathan Taylor to return from the physically unable to perform list, and he will practice today. That is exactly what he did. He hit the practice field. He had a full, or he was a full participant per Adam Schefter in practice today. Now, granted, it was a walkthrough practice, but this makes you believe that Jonathan Taylor is all the way back. Look, his Indianapolis Colts are doing fantastic on the season. Uh, They're coming away with a a close loss. They probably could have won it against that Rams team uh, this past weekend. But right now, as it stands, the Indianapolis Colts are 2-2, tied with the rest of their teams in that division, but they are sole leaders of it right now at that point because I believe their point differential is negative two, which is good news for them. Uh, Points for 97 points against 99. So they're playing some pretty good ball right now. And if they get Jonathan Taylor back, you can just expect what this team's going to do. I believe they can win some more ball games and they can win even more with Jonathan Taylor back in that backfield. I'm not saying he's 100% back, but I am saying Jonathan Taylor is most likely going to be playing for the Colts here in the near future. Don't think it's going to be this weekend, but it definitely could be. I could see it for sure next week, unless the relationship is just completely broken and Jonathan Taylor says, look, I still want to be traded. I requested a trade and I want to be out of here. You guys have to or at least try to get me out there. Now, Jonathan Taylor was given permission to seek a trade, and he basically didn't call a single team because he thought the teams were going to call him. And uh, there was some reaching out. You know, the Miami Dolphins reached out. The Broncos reached out. I'm sure there was other teams and stuff like that. But Jonathan Taylor is all the way back. You just have to assume what's going to happen with that Colts team. Can this relationship be mended and, and put back to how it was before? I'm sure it can. But it's up to Jonathan Taylor to make that happen. And I think he's going to play for the Colts this season for at least probably for the rest of the season, if I would assume. And then next uh, or this offseason, then the Colts can look to move on from Jonathan Taylor if he so pleases and if he still wants that. But Jonathan Taylor was activated from the physically unable to perform list today. He was a full participant in practice. And now we just wait for the return to the football field for Jonathan Taylor. So you guys let me know in the comments, when does Jonathan Taylor play again? Is it for the Colts or is it for another team? Also drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your night, folks. And you just got your fix with the Wicks.